Hey guys, and welcome back um, to my channel. Okay, I think I did Libra. I hope I did Libra already. Anyway, Sagittarius, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing good. Thumbs up? Okay. Alone time is what I got for the title of your video. Uh, <clears throat> it, when I went into your meditation, I seen an image of a little girl or a girl. She could be grown. I don't know. Being rocked back and forth by the moon while she looked into the stars. Um, I felt an energy of just needing to be alone. I feel that you are taking it all in and deciding which way to move next. I also feel like a few of you could be dealing with a case of a case of, a case and situation where there is a person trying to confuse you. Try, I mean, trying to console you with lies, okay, or illusion. And it may be best to just take some time, some personal time out to analyze the situation clearly and without interruption. Considering that the stars are close by, there is a plan. And this is just a little part of it, okay? Uh, you will overcome this too, shall pass, okay? So if there's somebody out here trying to either console you because you're 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 sad or some, going through something upset, they're trying to console you with lies. Or, um, but I do, I feel like somebody's trying to console you with lies, but the stars are there because the stars are honest. The stars is the truth. The stars is what this whole life was written in, okay? So there is no illusion in stars, but... The moon, you're sitting on the moon, which tells me that there's illusion present. There's somebody trying, it's some, some type of illusion or some type of unknown factor that you are not uh, possibly aware of, or you could be aware of them. You just may not be aware of the intentions of this person. Okay, but I feel like you're going to be shutting yourself out, like completely hermit, so that you can make some things can make sense to you because, you know, your body starts to tell you first before anything. Okay? God, universe, angels, and spirit, guys. What messages do we have for the sign of Sagittarius? I feel like y'all ancestors have been trying to get y'all alone for a while now. It's something that they're trying to tell y'all. Y'all need to be alone to hear it, obviously. There's some factor here that's been invading your energy and it's causing problems for you and your spirituality. Okay? Get rid of these motherfuckers so you can hear your mind, body, spirit. Because if people too lost, too loud or too talkative, if their energy too loud... You can't even hear what you're trying to hear from yourself, and you might miss something. And if you miss something, it could be a red flag. And if you're going to wish that you didn't miss that later, okay? So, what messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? Six of Pentacles, okay? The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely and paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. But I just feel like that's signifying some balance here or prosperity. Equal give and takes that you're winning. Okay. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay, no. I'm not going to keep these last three. That's a lot of earth. Why y'all got so much earth out here? Y'all rich? Nah. Could be. The star. There go that damn Aquarius here. But this is also you having faith. Having faith that the future is bright, you know? Keeping your faith. Have to keep your hopes and dreams. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. While you're dealing with the ending here. Okay? There's some type of ending taking place. Or you, you're cleaning up. The end of a situation that brings relief sadness or both but even if you're sad or about the ending you kept your faith here and that's going to be something to be happy about it's going to pay off faith always pays off messages for Sagittarius I mean faith in God not faith in these people and faith in these churches and shit like that I mean faith in God only between you and him not that nothing's wrong with the churches or anything. If it is, I'm not speaking on that. I'm just saying that um, you, 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 when you go, you can listen to people all you want, but ultimately you need to build your own relationship with God, okay? And people, nobody can tell you how to do that. Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you started at the six and you're ending at a ten, but I feel like Ten of Pentacles is financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance of a retirement peace and contentment in life honoring family traditions pride in the family tree passing on knowledge so we're gonna clarify this 
But it looks like um, starting off the reading, some good you did could have come back to you or um, a balance in the relationship here because you kept the hope. Or, no, that don't look like balance happening. And if balance did happen in a relationship, it quickly ended after that. Well, let's clarify. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. What do you want Sagittarius to know about the Six of Pentacles, please? Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Two of Cups, first thing out. Yeah, um, but this is everything about giving in this card. Do you good that comes back to you. Unexpected inflow. So, okay, this could be something to do in love. It could be some kind of equal give and take happening in love. Um, after a perspective change, I feel. I don't know, though. But I don't I don't know. Because we were just talking about it in a meditation. That, because, that somebody's trying to console you with lies. So, they could be making you feel like that there's an equal give and take. But they really have... Um, other motives, other arterias, other perspectives, other directions in which to take this. Okay, Six of Pentacles, clarify that. What does Sagittarius need to know about the Six of Pentacles, please? Yep, Six of Wands, see that? But you will have victory over the situation. This won't, yeah, you're going to have victory. Something, something snaky here, I don't like it. You're going to have victory, and you will stand your ground. You know what I'm saying? But somebody's trying to feel like they're trying to get you stuck or keep you trapped in a perspective. Okay? But um, God ain't going to allow that. Okay? So, Six of Pentacles here. You, I, This is feeling like, but with this card, I feel like you did all the giving and whatever this was. You, you, were, you want to have victory. You want to be appreciated. You want to have reward and recognition. But you did all the giving with the Six of Pentacles here. You did all the giving and whatever this love situation is. And so there was a lack of perspective. In order to have victory, to be appreciated, to be recognized, to be rec to be re rewarded and recognized, you have to not give all. That's possibly what you're realizing. You gained a new perspective on how to be victorious. To stop giving everything. Make a motherfucker give back. Okay? So there, there you go. Where you started to stand your ground because you realized, look, I'm not about to keep being a motherfucker giving everything. You got that perspective. Okay? I want to be appreciated. I want to have a victory. I have wishes, hopes, dreams as well. But I feel like you kept faith and your dreams come true. Positive changes that bring it into a challenging time because of this faith. Because of this faith in God, it all is possible. Whatever this is. Star. Clarify the star card for Sagittarius, please. Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Could be a be around home too. Could be around home or foundations or something that was built. Okay. Love. Love because the Queen of Cups come out. It's about love. Love and disappoint you. Time and time again, possibly. Okay. Moon reverse. And it could be, yeah, nope. That's not what that is. And that's something fine. That's a secret coming out. But you still keeping the faith. You keeping the faith, the host, and all that. But this is moon reverse lets me know that something came to the surface that you were not aware of. And boom, it put you in a disappointment. It made you a disappointment. It could have do with the Aquarius too. But it disappointed you because you love this person. Okay? And you thought that y'all were building something stable. Or you want to build something stable. But that's not happening because it's over. Ten of swords. You, you wanted ten of pentacles from a person. Or maybe you, I mean, you're going to get the ten of pentacles just not from this person. So you mean, look, you're looking at this like, oh, I want the ten of pentacles. What is turning into a ten of swords? And I feel like that's where the disappointment comes in. Because you're feeling left out in the cold with the five of pentacles. But divine timing is at play. Star card again on the bottom. With the high priestess. With the tower card. This is in the magician. All of this is major arcana. It's major changes happening here. Major. Okay. Why is this Ten of Swords here? It's major changes and an ending. That's what this is. Yep. The ending to confusion, to illusion, to being an option. Whatever that is to you. Ten of Swords. Why is that here for Sagittarius, please? Clarify this Ten of Swords. Clarify. Yeah. There's a Ten of Pentacles again. Yeah, to what you thought was going to end up being the Ten of Pentacles ended up being a nothing. Ten of Swords again on the bottom of the deck with the devil. Toxic. Code to, code to binding addictions, all of that shit, low vibrations, you don't need it. You're cutting it out. 
you cutting it out because you want an equal give and take and yeah this person does not nourish you queen of pentacles reverse so you put it into the situation because you know what you want you want a ten of pentacles not a ten of swords sorry boo so you're starting fresh here feel like it's gonna be have some new love coming in here that's gonna yield you a ten of pentacles you're gonna have options opening up that's gonna bring in some equal give and take for you for once okay but the, you putting it into motherfuckers that dirt and dirt you, the people that take and don't, that take, 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 take and don't give back, that's over. Shit. People that confuse you, make you as an option, that's over. Because you're going to go out here and find you a Ten of Cups. Something that can be pure. And that can yield you a Ten of Cups. I'm Ten of Pentacles. Sorry. And you will. Because Ten of Pentacles is out here twice. And that could be your finances as well. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Swords is out here twice too. That could be your finances as well. Just taking a big jump. Okay. But I also feel like, yeah, this is you moving forward in a commitment and in some type of relationship that's going to yield you a Ten of Pentacles. But it's going to be new love here with the Six of Pentacles. But the Six of Pentacles, I mean the Six of Cups, new love. But that could also be past love too. But I don't feel past love with the energy in the card. I feel new love. Yeah. New love. And guess what? Moving forward from this tense situation, Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, you get new love that yields a very happy, very happy ending. Sell upon the future. You, you got future plans. Move forward. That's what they're saying. Move forward and sell on the future. Wait on them ships because in them ships, it's going to be a person that is yielding the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles for you. Okay? Dark Knight of the Soul. This is you changing, going through a transformation, seeing things clearly in order to obtain you a King of Pentacles, in order to make the changes that you need in your life to obtain you a husband. Okay? Maybe going about something new in emotion, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and being willing, looking in, inner. Um, inner reflection and being willing to fix okay then communication okay but yeah okay so let's see what we got for the next part yeah fuck all that disappointment and being depressed we ain't doing that this year it's 2021 Sagittarius motherfuckers gonna be disappointed but it ain't gonna be us it's going to be the motherfuckers that thought they were going to be disappointing us. And now they disappointed because they don't get no access to us. Okay? That's how that works. Fuck these people. Fuck these motherfuckers. Fuck these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I play all day. I got three different colors of purple in my hair. My braids, I love them. Because I love purple. Purple is really sick, right? I try to wake up with grapes in my mouth like Ralph Smart. You know? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides, please give us clear and concise messages. Whoa, whoa, for the sign of Sagittarius now. Clear and concise messages for the sign of Sagittarius. What messages do we have for the sign of Sagittarius? This, this, uh, this Aquarius, this Aquarius must got to get hold on ya. <laughs> I'm just saying, because he pops up or she, they pop up a lot. Oh, you just doing a lot of healing and wishing and hoping. I think it's an Aquarius for some of y'all. Messages for Sagittarius. It's up to you. That's what it says, Sagittarius. It's up to you to decide how you're going to be treated. To decide what you're going to take and what you're not going to take. To decide what's next in your life. It's up to you. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Good. Because I don't really want the other one out of that deck. Okay. Messages for Sagittarius, please. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages do we have for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Dang. I gotta go back for another one, y'all. That's what they say. Support. Mm-hmm. And recognition. Do you want to be? Do you want to have support? Do you want to be recognized? Do you want to have a victory? Well, then you probably got to pick new people to have a victory with. Okay. Let's help me get one more out of here. Okay. Well, what is it? What is it? What's that card y'all want for Sagittarius? Okay, there it is. All right. No need to worry. I guess you stressed out. Is that all? Is that all? Sheesh, y'all. Compromise is what it's telling you to do. Okay, that's what they want you to see. That you need to bam compromise sometimes, damn it. Okay, so let's play. Oh, we gotta get a 
God, universe, angels, and spirit, guys, please give us one message clear and concisely that will wrap up all this energy that Sagittarius is dealing with at this time. One message clear and concisely to sum up all the energy surrounding Sagittarius at this time. Message for Sagittarius. No, I said one now. And here they are giving to. I'm going to keep them. Because they both flew out together. And I'm not about to choose between them. So, may the best man win. Okay? It's up to you. Why is that here for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know about? It's up to you. Clarify this. It's up to you for Sagittarius. What do they need to know about? It's up to you. Clarify this. It's up to you. What does Sagittarius need to know about? It's up to you. It's up to you. Clarify that it's up to you for Sagittarius. Why is it it's up to you here for Sagittarius, please? Because you, because you, you think you and your mind, Eight of Swords, you allowed yourself to be mentally imposed by this in a mental prison, holding yourself hostage here. And all you got to do is put an end to the situation, is what they're telling you. Like you are the one choosing to stay. There's that star again. You need to leave that damn Aquarius alone. Go take that leap of faith so you can have some happiness in your damn life. You hear me? You hear me? It's up to you to come out this mental imprisonment. Okay? This is where you're keeping yourself trapped. Do you see that person? Trapped in there. And where is he trapped? In a prison of mentalness. You're thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And you need to put an end to that shit. It's up to you. It's up to you. Do you want support? Do you want recognition? Do you want to have somebody worth having in your life? Then you need to compromise. You need to stop worrying. You need to compromise with the universe. So you need to compromise with to come out your mind. To let this shit go. You're holding on tight and it needs to come to an ending. This person got to fucking go, man. I'm sick of telling you. I ain't your mama or nothing. But damn. This person got to go. You don't need to worry, okay? The universe is wanting you to compromise so they can help balance out your life. You see those scales of justice? They trying to balance. Is this the deck I'm clarifying with? Nope, that's not it. Why don't even pick this up? Why is no need to worry here? So tell us about no need to worry for Sagittarius. Because an official person will be coming. And this relationship is bad for your health. Bad health. No need to worry. I'm right here for Sagittarius. Clarify this. No need to worry. Well, they tell you it's up to you. You want to keep dealing with this, then you stay in the situation. But if you want justice, equilibrium, equal give and take, you need to, you know, compromise. No need to worry. Let, let the universe, that's what it said. No need to worry. Justice card. The universe is here balancing out the scales for you. So you just need to let it happen and compromise because this is how it happens. When you start screaming for justice. <laughs> No need to worry. Why is that here? Yeah, because you could be... Somebody could have made you feel left out in the cold. Or some truth you got. Made you feel somebody... Um, yeah. Um, conflict or betrayal. Some truth spoken or some clarity that comes in that, that it reveals some betrayal here. It saves you right packing on your journey. Yeah. No need to worry. Because justice is here to serve you in your situation where a person made you feel left out in the cold. Well... <clears throat> Don't need no need to worry. You just do the work. You keep your head down, eat your slice of pizza, and be quiet. <laughs> I got that from the nun. So, but you do this work on you and yourself and your whatever you're supposed to be working on your craft. Okay, you let justice to handle this. That's what they telling you. Stop, stop thinking and holding yourself hostage in these thoughts. Compromise. Let go and let God. Why is compromise here for Sagittarius? Why is compromise here for Sagittarius? Please clarify this compromise for Sagittarius. Clarify this compromise for Sagittarius. Yeah, compromise. Why you need to compromise? Because they won't bring balance in your life. You need to decide to leave this alone is what they're saying. This is you, what you're dealing with. This is the person right here that you're dealing with. Or the energy. And they're deciding, do I give to this person or do I give to this person? Which one will I give to this time? Okay? Temperance card. That's your energy. But you re you, you're you requesting, requiring balance. That's why compromise is here. Requiring balance here. This is you needing balance because you no longer want to be this motherfucker. Or this motherfucker. Why he sit here or she sit here and be stingy. No, nobody got time for that shit. So you're 
the universe is telling you in order to bring yourself out of a situation where a person just taking taking and you're giving giving or they're overtaking and under giving then you need to compromise let it go walk away allow the universe to bring in the healing you know what I mean? Allow the illumination to be what it is so you can make your decision or you have the illumination and need to make your decision. You need to compromise. Make this decision to move forward here. And that's what it says. You want this, this this love relationship or a new beginning here. Then God's sitting there waiting on you to choose which one you're looking at. <laughs> I wish she would choose. I wish she I wish she would choose that motherfucking relationship. I blow that bitch apart. That's how God is. <laughs> Support. He's a jealous guy. You can't be up to choosing nothing over him. I'm sorry. He don't do that. He don't do that. He'll take it all away. You don't want that authority of thumb. I've had it. I don't want it. Nope. Yep, this is you thinking and 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 thinking. Am I going to let the universe help me? Am I going to take this support from the universe? Do I want support in my relationships? Do I want somebody to help me make this relationship possible? Support? Or do I want to still stay in this situation so that's where the compromise comes in because you're thinking about it you're thinking about it you're thinking about all the hurt and all the pain and all the unnecessariness and you decide nah you know what i'll pass i think i'll pass i'll pass please for 500 alex that's what you're telling the motherfucker because i'm about to stand your this is you standing your ground going into emperor energy and deciding you know what no i'm going to take a charge of this situation i'm going to take control and i say that you're voted off the fucking island okay <laughs> recognition of who the fuck you are and how they got you fucked up okay recognition on how to appreciate yourself because you don't let another, another motherfucker appreciate you you can appreciate yourself and they can beat it baby okay you feel me and that's judgment right there okay reconciliation i don't know where that came from recognition why is recognition here there could be somebody heading to a reconciliation i don't know but this ain't looking real reconciliation it's but i did just say that Somebody thinking that if they just hold themselves back and they think this is their thoughts, but they trapped in them. It's an illusion. They need to cut through them damn thoughts with the death. Recognition. Why is that here? Yeah. Recognition. Then we got this punk ass Knight of Cups coming in here. Sorry, but he, this is a motherfucker that's going to set the offer on the ground for your ass and not tell you what it's for. This ain't you bringing me shit. You ain't bringing me no offer on this. This is you setting the cup on the ground saying, you know what that's offered for? You're going to take it. And I wish the fuck you would pick it up, Sagittarius. I wish you would. You you blow that bitch down. Let You leave it there. Kick that bitch over if that's what you got to do. But you don't pick up that motherfucking cup. They're going to pick that motherfucking cup up and they're going to bring it to you like the emperor that you are. Or they can get the fuck out your face. Recognition, bitch. I'm the emperor slash empress. Recognize it. And bring that some other. You don't bring me no motherfucking cup like this. You pick that bitch up and you serve it on a platter. The fuck is wrong with these people? And they about to learn about you. You hear me? I felt that energy. Yeah. Because your, your intuition says, bitch, I don't need you to be appreciated. I don't need you to be recognized. I can do that all with me. Okay? This is what I know. So you better pick that little punk ass offer up off the ground and go find something bigger and better to give me. Do you hear me? Okay. I'm glad we got that understood. So this is recognition. This is a motherfucker bowing down to the empress because they realize, and I'm sorry, I shouldn't be all aggressive like that, but technically you mistreat me, you walk over me, you fuck me over. Now you realize I'm the empress. Now, oh shit, I fucked the empress over. Now you want to run back and make it right. Oh my God, I need to go appreciate her and him. I need to go see, I need to go say sorry. I need to go bring in some offers. Well, no, this is not the type of offer you bring to an emperor or empress. The emperor or the empress, would you think they're going to get up and pick that shit up off the ground? No, the fuck, you going to be dismissed. You better bring me that motherfucking cup. I'm thirsty, okay? <laughs> uh, let's clarify bad health and official person. Why is bad health here for Sagittarius? Mm -hmm. Cause shit is toxic. It's toxic. And it's no good. It's bad for your health. Like I said earlier, this is relationship is bad for your health, and that's you allowing it to be what it is. Saying you know what this this is this is bad for my health. I don't deserve this. I deserve better than this. I don't want this. So this, this guess what you do? You look at this shit. And you say, okay, yeah, this motherfucker's sneaky, deceptive. I don't trust him. And I'm not dealing with this shit. I deserve better and I will get better. I'm going to end this cycle. I'm walking the fuck away. And that's what you get with that. And boom, here out comes an official person, which I feel like is the true you. A true official you. Okay? Because you're not letting motherfuckers get, act like that no more. Yeah, the true official you who emerged from the crack smoke after that tower broke and collapsed. Okay? Out came you. 
with a lot of self-love and a lot of self-power and you're standing in it and you wish your motherfucker would and guess what you can love yourself you i'm not settling for no bullshit just to get no love i love myself ace of cups but i'm gonna move forward okay in a balanced state and that's my truth that's my clarity and that's what i'm cutting through the bullshit with because guess what i'm on my way to a ten of pentacles baby okay and right now i might not got it I might be working on loving myself and being strong and courageous and worry about myself. But, baby, I'm going to get it because God said I am. And here it is, the clarity saying that I'm going to get a ten of pentacles right here. This tower might be falling and I might be readjusting myself. I might be packing up and starting over fresh from fresh new self-love with this Ace of Cups in this strength club. I might be starting over with fresh new self-love and a fresh new foundation. But, damn it, I'm going to keep on moving forward. Because God didn't bring me this far just to leave me here. Now, do y'all hear me? Okay. Love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. But remember, God didn't bring you this far just to leave you back. Bye-bye. Okay? Remember that shit. Fuck these people.